with all the fear surrounding dermal filler blindness, does it actually happen as often as people think? Is it something you should worry about? Or does it just seem more common online than it really is? In today's video, we're going to uncover the real risks backed by facts and statistics and show you how you can stay safe. Let's get started. I'm Dr. Haroon and I specialize in non-surgical aesthetic treatments. I've been working with injectables for nearly half a decade now and I work as one of the lead trainers at Derma Medical, which is a global training company. Today, we're going to talk about dermal filler blindness, what it is, how it happens, and what the actual risks are. There's a lot of fear online around this topic, but when you look at the numbers, you'll see that while this is a serious complication, it's extremely rare. Let's start by understanding what dermal filler blindness is. Dermal filler blindness occurs when filler is accidentally injected into specific blood vessels that connect to other blood vessels that supply the eyes. This blockage can cut off oxygen to the retina, leading to partial or complete vision loss. Certain areas of the face have a higher risk for this complication. These include the forehead, the frown lines, nose and nasolabial folds. But while these are considered higher risk areas, I still do not consider them as high risk. And I'll explain that once we get into the stats. Let's look at the actual data. Hyaluronic acid based dermal fillers have been used for about 30 years. And since their FDA approval in 2003, millions of filler procedures are performed annually. Across 30 years of global use, there have been roughly 300 reported cases of dermal filler blindness. Now, this might sound alarming, but this translates into a 0.0001% risk, or to put simply, one in a million. To put this into perspective, the risk of blindness from surgical blepharoplasty, which is a common eyelid surgery, is roughly one in 2,500. Surgeons do not consider this procedure high risk for blindness, even though the chance is significantly higher compared to dermal filler. Looking closer at the data, 87.4% of reported blindness cases occurred in China and Korea, likely due to the popularity of nose fillers in this region, combined with riskier injection techniques. In the UK, there have only been two reported cases in the last 30 years. This data should reassure patients that while dermal filler blindness is not impossible, it is exceedingly rare, especially when performed by experienced practitioners. So, how can we further reduce this already rare risk? The best way is to choose an experienced medical practitioner who understands facial anatomy and safe injection techniques. This is crucial because knowing where key blood vessels are located is what is gonna help your practitioner keep you safe. There is some misinformation online suggesting that using a cannula completely eliminates the risk of blindness. Unfortunately, this is not true. In 43% of the reported cases where the instrument was known, a cannula was used. While a cannula can reduce the risk in certain areas, it does not replace the need for in-depth anatomical knowledge. And here's something that might surprise you. The only way to eliminate the risk of dermal filler blindness is to completely avoid these treatments altogether. These are elective cosmetic treatments, not medically necessary procedures. The chance of blindness is about the same as getting struck by lightning. But if you want to avoid the risk completely, the simple answer is don't have dermal filler treatments. I hope this video has helped clear up some of the misinformation surrounding dermal filler blindness. It's a serious complication, but incredibly rare. Choosing an experienced, skilled practitioner can reduce the chance even further. If you have any questions about this video or any other aesthetic treatments, feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.